If you are looking to use Pirate Ship to ship your e-commerce products for your online store, then one, Pirate Ship is absolutely amazing. It's my favorite um, uh, way to ship products for an e-commerce business. I use that for my product-based business for three years. They have amazing customer support and when you actually reach out to them for a question, an actual human responds to you. So it's really, really nice. Um, but they make it really easy to ship products and do all of that kind of stuff, especially if you're using USPS. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to create a saved package in Pirate Ship. <laughs> because what happens is if you're uploading your orders into pirate ship let's say you use shopify and you have to constantly ship out the same type of package so let's say for example you sell water bottles and your water bottles are one pound to ship and you always ship in the same box or padded poly mailer or something like that well when you create a saved package in there then instead of manually entering those details every single time which can get annoying and two it's a waste of time every time you're in there typing in the dimensions of the package the weight you're wasting 30 seconds or one minute of your day so while if you have only a few orders here and there it's okay to waste a minute but that minute adds up and if you're shipping hundreds and hundreds of orders every single week then you can see that now you're wasting hours of your week typing in those details so you want to go in and create a saved package for repeat use in pirate ship so in this video i'm going to walk you through how to do that it literally takes like 30 seconds to do it and it's going to save you so much time so if we've done that my name is carrie fitzgerald i'm an e-commerce and product-based business strategist and marketer and i'm here to help you start or scale your product-based business and if you haven't subscribed to this channel be sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up for the youtube algorithm all right let's dive into it Okay, so when you go into Pirate Ship, what you're wanting to do, and before we start on the like how to create a save package, which saves you so much time if you are shipping a lot of orders on your e-commerce store, the benefit of having a save package is, say for example, you have two different packaging options. One package is a box that's 10 by six by four. It weighs oftentimes, you know, around a pound or so you have like a standard product that you always sell. So for example, if you sell a mug, let's say you sell these really beautiful water bottles and they weigh one pound. Well, if your average order is one water bottle, then you can go in here and create a saved package where it just says one water bottle. And then you could put like a note about the box or something like the size. And then every time you have an order for that, you have those dimensions ready to go and you don't have to type it in every single time because that's a waste of time. So you can think of this as typical orders that you have, whether it's like people order one water bottle, two water bottles, or if you sell something else that you would commonly be shipping out to customers, you want to create a saved package for that because it's going to save you a lot of time. So you go into your account, you go to settings, and you go to saved package and then you click create save package. So we're gonna come over here and so let's say for example, I'm just gonna go with the water bottle theme. We would have one water bottle. So you'd title it one water bottle box. And then if you ship your water bottle in a box, you would click box. If you ship it in a poly mailer, you would click padded envelope, poly mailer, soft bag, etc. And then there's other USPS options. I always use my own packaging. So I never used to use, when I had my product business, I never used the USPS stuff because I think it looks ugly, to be honest with you. Um, so I always use my own packaging. So for this, we're going to go with the box this time. And then we're going to plug in the details for the packaging. Okay, so let's say your packaging is, your box is 10 inches. It's six inches high and then let's say it's four inches wide so you'd put this information here if the typical package weight so box plus product let's say is around one pound two ounces you'd put that information here so again it has to be the product and the packaging so your inserts your packaging your tape all the things you put in the box like ready to go in the post office should be all of this right here and you plug that in 
if it's if it's under a pound, then you would just click the ounces here. So you would calculate, you have to understand how many ounces are in a pound, 16. So if it's under a pound, let's say it's 14 ounces, you would put 14 here. So that's what you would put there. Okay, and then if you click on extra services, this is where you're gonna find some additional things here. If they require, if you require a signature confirmation, if you have additional insurance, if you wanna do something else here, then you would click those things. If there's hazardous materials, you would put that. And then custom forms. So if you're shipping internationally and things like that, you have to add this information, which is kind of annoying. So depending on if you ship international, you can put that or not. So we're gonna ignore that stuff for now. And then we're gonna click saved, uh, save package. However, if you come up here, there's a little button that says save as default. So if you have one type of standard order, that you sell constantly, then you would have that as your set as default. And if you don't, then you would unclick that. So you can pretty much do this same setup for all of your popular orders. So I'm gonna go in here and create one more with you. This time we're gonna do two water bottles and we're gonna put poly mailer. So this would mean, so when I'm going through and clicking, like when I wanna upload an order and save it, I, this is going to remind me, oh, this is for our poly mailer bag orders. So I'm going to come over here, click padded envelope. I'm going to do 10 by 6, and I'm going to do package weight 14 ounces. So this doesn't actually make sense because this is two water bottles, but this is just an example. And I'm going to click save response. So now when I go to ship orders and it when you go to add an address, I'm going to show you that in a sec, it'll ask you which package. And then if you click this, now everything's already there and you can always adjust it in the label, but this makes you, this makes it so much more time efficient for you. Okay, so since I'm creating an example for you, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to pretend to create a label. So I'm going to put an email address here. I'm going to put a fake address, <laughs> um, 12, 46 Ave, and then sometimes like an address will just pop up. So we're just going to pretend we're doing that. And then here is where you will have the details. So when you click package details right here, so now we have one water bottle, et cetera. And then if, if say you're like, oh my gosh, I made a mistake, um, this is actually 15 ounces for some reason. You can click modify and then you can come down here and you can just adjust it quickly. So I'm gonna adjust this to do um, 15. Oops, I clicked hazardous materials by accident. Yeah, so now it'll have the different weight there. And then you wanna click get rates. And then you can see here, there is the cheapest option is ground, but if you click down, it's gonna drop down into a bunch of options for you. And then you just click whatever one you want. So for this, I'm gonna click the cheapest one. And you can see here, what is the ship date? So just because you're ordering your label today does not mean you're actually shipping it today. So be careful of that, because the problem is, is that if it emails your customer, and then in two days, they check the tracking and it says that it's not shipped yet. They're going to email you, hey, where's my product? And that gets really annoying. So you want to make sure that, okay, I'm doing all my labels today, but I'm not shipping these until, you know, for three more days. So you want to come in here and you want to adjust the, the time uh, for that. So I'm going to put, just as an example, July 31st. Oh, what did I click here? Okay, so now it's on July 31st. I'm going to adjust the, the email date to the customer as well to July 31st. And then I'm going to click buy label. So I haven't added my payment methods yet, but assuming that I have, that's what I'm going to do. And then you can ship your label. So it's so easy to use Pirate Ship to not only ship your products for your e-commerce store, but 
creating the saved packages will save you so much time so you don't have to plug it in every single time. I hope this video helped. If you love this video, be sure to check out my other videos on scaling or starting a Shopify store. And if you have any questions about pirate ship or Shopify, drop them in the comments below. All right, see you next week.